Loose song going crazy. Hey man, you already know who it is, man. As you can see, it's your boy Gumbar in his natural habitat. You feel me? We in a village right now. My name is Gumbar, and the meaning of Gumbar is literally like a farmer. You feel me? Harastai. Literally, that's what Gumbar means. So today, you know, I'm gonna give you guys a special video since I'm in a village. You know, I'm gonna entertain you guys. I'm gonna show you guys what the village lifestyle is like. So today, I'm gonna be a farmer. A gut bar for 24 hour. This is what I love to do, man. Like I'm not a city boy. I love the village, man. I love village more than anything. I love the village more than the city, like more than Asmara. Like growing up, I used to farm a lot with my family and stuff. So, you know, it's really nice to be back where, you know, where it all started. As you can see, I got my farmer friend right here. He gonna be showing me around, you know what I'm saying? بل عويل كهت زارب حرس طيب بل حرس طيب حافيرو حافيرو stay tuned for a 24 hour vlog in the farm in the village as a farmer you feel me so I'm gonna show you guys the lifestyle of people living in a village and what they do to survive and live life you know if you guys enjoy these type of videos let me know in the comment section what type of videos you guys wanna see and I'm gonna do anything for the village for y'all you feel me Yes, sir. Let's get it. I'm on my way all the way to the other side of the mountains to get all the cattle, the cows, the sheep, the goats, the camels, all the animals you can think of. We're going to go get them, collect them, bring them to the village at nighttime. So right now I'm headed there. Come on, follow me. You know, the village lifestyle is so beautiful. I'm so thankful to be able to come back to my country and experience a village lifestyle. When I like get old, when I retire, I'm for sure gonna live here in the village with my animals, you know, with my family. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Come on, let's go. I'm rocking strikes, these little G's, there ain't no shell toes. Please don't try me, cause my nigga got the Velcro. I asked my girl, is she gonna switch? And she said, hell no. I know my family gonna be rocking to the end, though. My daddy used to stay up nights and drink his pain away. Sometimes I used to see him ball, it starts to fade away. He told me, son, enjoy this moment, nothing's permanent. He told me, son, enjoy this moment, nothing's permanent. So I'm a rock out with my As you guys can see, like in order to go get the cattle, you gotta go through a lot of stuff, you know? A lot of dangerous, you know, obstacles. But I got my handy, handy uh, tour guide right here, you know, taking me in the right direction. Oh my God, this is scary. Karim Nado, what are you doing? Oh, ah, let's say, Karim Nado. This is crazy. This is how they communicate in Erta, in the village. Oh, mama, ask me. Hand it to me. Wow, Man, this is so beautiful. She's all the way there. Better luck. How do you know where I'm going now? No, I'm going now. All the way there. Oh. So we have to go all the way to that little dot right there, bro. <laughs> Man, I don't think I signed up for this. I'm tired. Look at me. I'm chilling right now. She's ready to go. Ida Humpkin? You're not tired? This is the lifestyle of a farmer, y'all. But it's beautiful, you know? Beating the struggle. Oh, but there. Oh, but there. So she's saying one. Ooh, what type of girl? Zubi. She's saying there's hyenas there, bro. She said they be eating people, so I don't even know if I wanna go there. But she said there's hella cattle there, like camels, goats, sheep, and stuff. So we're gonna check it out, you know. Anything for the vision. I made it halfway. Look, I, I came all the way from there. Now I gotta go all the way to the other mountain. Let's do it, man. No, no, wait. Right away. Why good? Why good? Oh my god. What did I sign up for? Bro, that's crazy. She's saying 
she walks this route every day in the morning and at night back and forth every day she's like yeah this is nothing she's like i do this every every day i'm like i can't even do it in one day maybe it's because my achilles you know i'm not trying to use the excuse but you know my i just got surgery on my achilles so you know stuff been a little rough for me but you know i'm pushing through i'm putting this content out for you guys she's saying i gotta go through this you know spiky situation pray for me bro this is dangerous oh my god ah <laughs> bro what comes lady this is what looks shocking this is like literally pokey cactus you guys see how sharp this is I gotta go through this 10 times more man let's get it Yay! Look. look how they communicate hey! Abuelo? okay it's a book let's get it can they start if now how many hours yeah. Oh my god, she said yeah. Another hour. I'm really glad I brought the stick, y'all. Because this stick <laughs> saved me a lot of energy. You know, you could just literally push yourself off with the stick. So I'm happy I brought the stick, you know. As you guys can see, we're starting the farming experience already. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, break the ground up so that we could plant potato here. So that I could grow and then we could eat it, in this, uh, you know, and when it grows and stuff. So now we gotta go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is very hard work, but you know, I'm up for it, you know, anti for division. So let's do it. You know, our people do this every day, like every summer, every winter, you know, they don't complain, so I'm not gonna complain. Why would I complain? Okay, so I have to move this all the way there. Let's do it. Oh, why? <laughs> Man, this is crazy. <laughs> We have to do this all the way through. But I thought. <laughs> and that's what the house is. <laughs> right now guys we're taking a little quick break. As I don't know. So we're taking a little quick ma'ar break. You know, this is a little like fresh uh, ma'ar from the honey bees. Baraha, <laughs> like I mean, they got it from, you know, from where the honey bees from, you know? Greta, they got Greta. They got this honey from, they got this honey fresh from Greta. <laughs> I don't know where that is, but it's probably somewhere there. Greta, haven't it by Greta. Okay, let me know how long. You guys heard it. So right now we're gonna try it for the first time. As you guys can see, fresh honey, like, you know? Like, look at that. This mahar is fresh, man. It tastes very good. This is very good. So you guys can see right here, they got the water from the river also. But I don't know if I could drink this, you know? It's going to hurt my stomach. So I think I'm going to pass this. I'm probably going to dehydrate, but yolo, you know? But now we're going to, you know, continue our farming experience with my boy, Haben. He's going to show me all the farming skills. Harisha uh, Hulu. Like, you know, and try to go or say, uh, I work, uh, 
<laughs> like I told you guys, my name means Gabbar, you know? It literally means a hard working farmer, you know? So I'm literally living my true identity, you feel me? As a Gabbar, as a farmer, as a Harastai. Haji, I ran Shahari and you. The Harastai Arke. After Rancho Lowe, Jordan, Karen Ranchi, Apple Kalo Illini, Apple Lom of the Addi, Samir de Fat Apple, Hajorian. So this is what the orange look like. Ooh. Ayo, like it looks beautiful. You see this? Very nice. It smell nice too. You sure? I can't eat this. What like only? My boy said, you know, it's not ready to be eaten, but you know, I'm gonna try it for the for you guys. You know, for the vision, for anti for the vision. So. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> bro. <laughs> But is it orange they call it? Bullet, orange. Oh, good night, Jamar and Arashi. Right here, they got the apple right here. Come on, let me show you guys. So, right here, you guys can see I got a fresh pair of apple. Uh, I'm gonna try it for you guys also, just like the orange. So as you guys can see, this is apple, fresh from Eritrea, uh, from Hadish Adi. We're gonna try right now. Gorita, sorry, sorry. From, from Gorita. From Gorita. Okay, sorry. At Hadish Adi. There, sorry, sorry. Zia, how much money? Apple, zia, fresh. Oh my gosh, it's actually good. You guys see this? Wow. It's so small too. Man, this is beautiful. Only in Airshia, man. Man, this is the best apple I ever ate. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. What time? Buna. Buna. Mukot. Anta easy. Geisa, geisa. Geisa? I'm taking easy. Swa. For real? Is it half swa, half zimet? Swa, swa, half zimet. Bunet. Man, this is where people get drunk from. That's crazy. Like, Khabza oh. Wazli? God damn, that's crazy. We, we made it to the water, y'all. This is the water right here. This ain't Arrowhead or, you know, Crystal Geyser. This is this is Airtra Geyser, you feel me? Campus Lovely? Huh? Bunet? Oh. Oh, the fast of the life. How is my setting inside? Normal? Normal stuff. Woo! My boy said he's gonna drink the water fresh from the motherland. Fresh from Eritrea. This guy's crazy. He's literally gonna drink the water. Whoa. That is crazy. Man, this is how people survive out here, you know? Very natural, you know? I got all the goats and sheep, you know? Now, I gotta herd them back to the village. You guys don't know, man, if you don't do your, your hand like this when you're farming, then you're not a real farmer, you're not a real gut bar, you feel me? So you really gotta have your hand like these, so I gotta get a nice, you know, Loose nice battery. Put it over your shoulder, let your hand rest, and then carry on. I'm rocking stripes, these little OGs, there ain't no shell toes. Please don't try me, cause my nigga got the Velcro. I asked my girl if she gon' switch, and she said, hell no. I know my family gon' be rocking to the end, though. My daddy used to stay up nights and drink his pain away. Sometimes I used to see him ball it start to fade away. He told me, son, enjoy this moment, nothing's permanent. He told me, son, enjoy this moment, nothing's permanent. So I'ma rock out with my cock out like a hen. I'm about to rock out like a rocker with my friends. I'm about to got all the goats and the sheep together. Finally. You know, look at this beautiful. Oh my god, bro. You cannot get this anywhere else. Like the city right there, the village. We're gonna go all the way up there. Uh some people be DMing me on Instagram stuff, and they always be telling me, like, yo, Gubbar, like you really inspired me to go back to my country, see my family, you know, my people. You know, my mom land, my dad land. And then when people send me stuff like that, 
man, I'd be like so happy because, you know, if I'm able to inspire one person, that's beautiful, bro. One person to see this, like this, like this is their country. For me, this is like our land, bro. This is our like animals, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's amazing, bro. So, one thing I will tell you guys is if you guys never been to Eritrea, I would really, you know, suggest you guys see your, you know, your country, your land. You will be forever, you know, amazed and thankful for the land that you guys have. Like I said, man, everything you see in Eritrea really like takes you like a step back and really appreciate life. You know, life, like when you see it from America perspective versus out here and what our people we go through and why they still be, you know, smiling every day, working hard every day. You know, it's amazing. Like only our people, like you can't get it anywhere else. So if you've never been to Eritrea, Definitely go to Eritrea, and if you've never been to the village, definitely go to the village. Yeah, man. As you can see, man, we made it to the to the village finally. Now we're gonna put them in their home. Abe kana tin. Kala ba yan? Uma ano hal bando? Uwa? Hey man, you heard it, man. I'm about to milk the goats and the sheep. Feel me? About to drink good milk. Good protein, natural protein. Right now, we're gonna milk the goat. You know, we did the hard work. Now we gotta milk him. We gotta, you know, give ourselves some rewards. So we're gonna milk him. Come here, nah. So all you gotta do is, you know, squeeze it right here by the leg. You know what I'm saying? Now, are you What? Come here, come here. Okay. Three or long. Man, I'm really milking the goat. Oh, now you metal, metal, metal. We're milking the goat, man. Look, natural milk, you know, fresh. Our job is done for the day, man. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, like. Let me know if you guys want to see any other videos in the comment down. You know what I'm saying? But appreciate y'all, man. We'll see you guys next time. You know what I'm saying? Anything for the vision. I did it, man. I'm a how to stay for 24 hours. I feel like the greatest. Only been at this for two years. Thank God this shit happened so quick.